Hey everyone, Giddy Gator here with another update on the game I'm developing where items upgrade with time and you can pilot airplanes and weapons. In this update, you'll see a few visual changes based on your feedback. So please, any feedback is super helpful. So to start off with, I, what, what is that? Who goes there? Helino! It's Helino, dash it all! I've got big news from London! Big news! That's right, big news! Airshka Racing is now on the Steam page! Ta -da! It's been quite a challenge getting to this point, but we made it. Oh, big news, eh? <laughs> So with the Steam page up, I decided to reach out to the dev community and get some feedback. Feedback can be a hard pill to swallow because you see your project as a culmination of a lot of time and effort. So the feedback I got was not what I was expecting. It was that the art style was, quote, in trouble. I found that many felt that the style was lacking clarity and cohesion. I, as a developer, figured to first get good gameplay and then worry about the art style. Color theory and the like was alien to me. But if it didn't look good, who was going to give it a shot? Things were looking pretty bleak. I wasn't sure what to do. Then I saw this feedback. Art can be learned. At one point, you weren't a coder either. They were so right. I could do this. So I did what any developer does these days. I googled it. So after taking some time to learn about this color theory, I decided to put it to the test by taking on what I thought was the most challenging map, Nando's. Nando's was the first map I made from scratch. I poured hours into designing the volcanic cave. I loved this map because it really opened my eyes to what was possible. I was aware of issues with the map, mainly the difficulty in navigating the terrain. As you can still see, it's still super difficult to see the characters and lens flares. So many lens flares. To start off, I found a color scheme for the map and went to work. And here are the results. The first big change is how I changed the color of the lighting to match the scheme I selected. As you can see, it makes it much more interesting and appealing. I also reduced the exposure and ramped up the light intensity instead. I also got rid of the lens flares. I think that this improved the map a lot. Still, I'm no artist here, so I'd love to hear what you think of it. The last update I wanted to share with you is the snow cannon. This is an epic class weapon that you can get when you're in the lead. This model and animation were done by Artforge. Link in the description. Of all the items, I feel like this weapon captures the feel of what I was looking for in the game. When activated, you control a snow cannon that faces behind you. Then, you may proceed to lob snowballs at those who dare steal your lead. I love this item because it keeps the first player engaged in the combat and gives following players the rush of dodging projectiles. The snow cannon serves as a good defensive item that can deny boosters and rockets. Originally, I had reused the rocket's explosion effect, and it had been needing an update. I updated the impact sound and look, and it has made it much more enjoyable. I even added a sound to the projectile, and it greatly improves the fun and the feel to hear them whiz by. That's all I have for now. Thanks for the support, and keep giddily geeking. Later, Gators.